majority of you sexing your women. What the fuck? Jesus. Wow, this is Glenn, this is literally Glendon Cameron. <clears throat> the uh, thing here says, 62% of American women have rape fantasies. Why is this? Because, simple. because you simple fucks don't know how to please. Not coming. They are not getting off because of your weak ass sex game. Sad but true. I get more stories in the Black Bull Diaries. Okay, oh. so obviously I feel like we have, uh, there, there's no way that you can't think that he's an actual rapist. Now, <clears throat> There are a lot of women, and I would say men as well, who enjoy, um, like, they enjoy what's called CNC. So it's consensual, not consent. They enjoy sexual assault fantasies. Some people do that. Uh, there are, it's just the way it is. Now, we could have a conversation about why. Um, one of the reasons might be because there are a lot of women were sexually assaulted. And sometimes people who go through a traumatic experience like that, uh, they turn their pain into pleasure. It's a way of like uh, reclaiming it. Uh, it's not necessarily active. Sometimes it's like a, I guess more like a subconscious kind of a thing. Um, maybe part of it's because of the uh, the pornography that we're consuming. It shows us a very different perspective on the way that sex actually happens, where uh, women tend to be like you know, uh, tends to be more violent. Um, it tends to show women saying no, but actually white liking it. You know, it shows us very unrealistic representations of it. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why. Maybe there's even a biological imperative um, that some like that men want to rape women, right? Maybe that exists. I don't think that that's true, but realistically, it doesn't matter if that is or isn't true. Um, life isn't about giving into biological imperatives. Life's about being a human. Animals give into their biological imperatives. Humans are supposed to be the opposite of animals, right? Um, you can have whatever fantasies you want. That's totally your right. But when it comes down to it, people are entitled to body autonomy and raping somebody that takes away their body autonomy. A rape fantasy isn't a fantasy of wanting to be raped. The rape fantasy is a fantasy of wanting a controlled situation where you feel, uh, where you're basically role-playing that. That's what it is. All right? I know that these are very like harsh. This is a very harsh conversation, but this is the conversation we have to have because this stupid enough to fuck needs to say like dumb shit like this. <laughs> Um, it's just it wildly ignorant. This guy is constantly and consistently says things about how like rape is okay. He praised raping. Uh, excuse me. He pra praised a Viking rape culture. Um, talking about how men used to take things from women and children sexually. Um, he admitted to raping a sixteen and seventeen year old with the help of their mother. Uh, he would solicit images from minors. He said that he doesn't care about age of consent. He just cares about how mature the girl looks. This is like a predatory individual. And of course, he comes out with a new video. And it's it's insane because now he's really reveling in it. He really enjoys saying these things because he feels empowered to do so. Yeah, this is that guy. Yeah. He feels very empowered to say these things and nobody's stopping him. And because this is a this is this happens a lot. When people do a bad thing and they don't get caught or they get let off, especially if they get let off, um, they continue the behavior. They know how to operate through it better and they feel more empowered to do so. And so this is what's happening with this individual. Um, so I guess we'll watch this video. I can't believe it has so many likes. It's insane. You guys kill me. You gonna don't. I wish we would. Drop the soap. You're gonna be in jail soon. Let me explain something to you, stupid fucks, because you're patently stupid. And it's a shame that you live in the United States of America and don't know the rule of law. Why is the music going? This is what I want you to do. Well, the interesting thing about the rule of law thing is that we have to keep also in mind. It's hard, it's hard to keep track of every single thing that he talks about. But he even said that he goes out, he would go after underage girls that didn't have good families so that their parents wouldn't call the police on them. Since all of you are reporting me and you feel so satisfied that you reported me, I think a lot of you are lying. I think a lot of you are lying. You're just on this Internet vibe of just talking smack. Because if you were to call the FBI or any police agency, there's a series of questions. Why is, why is he leaving? Why is he leaving? 
song. And I know this for a fact because I've had to call 911 to report eight stolen cars. Now, typically, when you call the FBI or 911, they're going to ask you first question. <clears throat> what is the address of the situation? It's not true at all. I called the FBI on him. They didn't ask me that. They asked me that eventually. It wasn't the first question. I told them about the whole video. I linked them like whatever. And then I put, I put like, he has his license plates and stuff on Instagram. So <laughs> it's not like you can't find it. First question off the bat. <sighs> they're going to ask you your name. They're going to ask you what happened. You don't have to give them your name. This guy's really dumb. He's just like, just generally fucking stupid. They'll, they literally tell you, you don't have to give them their name and you can do it anonymously. And they're going to ask you for your phone number. They're going to ask you for your phone number two times. They're going to ask for their address two times. They're going to ask for the phone number. <clears throat> they ask you for the phone number one time. Again, you can report anonymously, and they make that very clear when you call the FBI. I just, you're just a really dumb person. And they're going to ask for a synopsis of what happened. And what they're going this to do, because see, here, here's the thing that you dumb fucks don't understand. If we live in a country where if you got so outraged, it's like, I don't like that guy. I don't like that guy. Arrest him. A lot of you would have been arrested for being ugly, dumb, stupid fucks. A lot of you would have been arrested. You raped kids, so it's a little different. Long time ago. We live in the United States of America where every man has the benefit of innocence until proven guilty. So uh, you prove yourself guilty. So let's say you call the FBI and it's like, there's this guy on YouTube, Lyndon Cameron. He's admitted to having sex with underage girls. And I want to report it. Yeah. And the first question they're going to ask you is where and when did this happen? What are you, what are you talking about, bro? You just say like, oh, he admitted it online. Where and when did this happen? You know what you're going to be a response? Because I didn't include that information in the video. I don't know. And they're going like, okay. This is just him admitting that he did it, but he didn't give you enough information, so he feels like you can't call the police on him. Do you have a victim's name? I don't know. And then the conversation's going to be like, thanks for calling us, but we need way more information than what you can provide to actually... It's actually not true. They... When, when you, you, and they may not be able to do anything, but literally when you call, they'll be like, oh, okay, thank you for the information. We're going to forward it to somebody to do an uh, investigation on it. They're not going to tell you to hang up. I just don't understand. I literally called the FBI on this guy. I don't understand. None of what he's saying is even true. We facilitate and start a case. We're going to need a place. We're going to need a time. We're going to need date. We're going to need names. We're going to need jurisdiction. Now let's talk about jurisdiction. Like, I left out all of that information purposely. What? Did it happen in Cobb County? Did it happen in Fulton County? Did it happen in Gwinnett County? Because see, wherever it happened, that county holds the jurisdiction. See, this guy really just doesn't seem to understand law. Um... That's very, very important. But see, most of you are so stupid. And you don't understand how our country works, and you don't understand the legal process, and you don't understand the rule of law, that you can just, in your selective outrage, come on here like, oh yeah, you don't drink the soup, you're gonna be in jail. Let me tell you something. Due to this global reset, more of you will be in jail before me because you're gonna start doing crime to survive because your punk asses are spending all your time on bullshit. So, next person who wants to call the FBI and report me, please put a camera on your dumb face and record that process and post it to YouTube. I dare you. I dare you. Because that's why I know a lot of you are lying, because see, you don't have enough information to file a case. You don't. You don't know when this happened, you don't know where it happened. You have no names. It's funny, his Instagram was, uh... He, he deleted his Instagram. How funny is that? He deleted his Instagram probably because there was a lot of information on it. It's so funny that he's pretending, because I have the link right here. This is my first video I did on him, and, and I made the everything in here, like, what is his information? This is his Instagram, and he deleted it. Uh, and it's funny that, you know, he's acting so bold, and the reason is because he, on, um... <clears throat> On here, this is his Instagram, and I already went through it. It has like his license plate numbers and stuff. So what's so funny is that he's pretending to be like here. If you saw that, like he has his license plates and stuff on here from uh, Georgia, I guess Fulton, um, and he's acting like this like really tough guy, but he's he's. he's going out of his way to try to delete as much information off the internet as possible while pretending that he's a tough guy it's just like before when he was sitting there and he was like oh you guys won't do anything and then one guy asked you like where where's your address i'll, I'll beat the fuck out of you and he's like i didn't drop it because i knew he wouldn't come like this guy's a really he's guy's a coward and he's really afraid and he even mentioned that him being rich is the reason why he's probably not in jail um and that's why he's more protected and uh, this is a person that the only, he only talks shit because he's in a position where nobody he feels nobody could do anything about it. And that's why this guy's a coward. <clears throat> this was 15, 20 years ago. Statute of limitations have passed. I know that y'all have gotten all caught up in Cosby and Weinstein and all this stuff. These guys had a ring. I did not do this. I was a lone wolf operator. And I did not, once again, most of you are stupid. I get that. You, you're on the short bus. I get that. Because when a man writes an ad and a woman answers it, there's nothing predatory about it. 
You're listening to this bitch ass robe wearing fool because he's stupid too. And they answer the ass. I did not hunt them down. And y'all like, oh, predator. Oh, let's talk about rape. Let's talk about rape. This guy's, I mean, how many times do I have to tell this guy? It doesn't matter if a young girl comes on to you, you're the uh, responsible party. 62% of American women have rape fantasies. I have never Maybe. brutally raped anyone. But I have raped many women in roleplay. Okay, so. First and foremost, I like this part here. I have never brutally raped anyone. So first and foremost, I mean, engaging in rape with a 45-year-old mother of her 16, 17-year-old daughters is pretty brutal. Second of all, you don't have to brutally rape anybody for it to be rape. Um, having sex with, under, with underage girls, we've already talked about willingness versus consent. They may be willing, but they can't consent because they're too young and they're not developed enough to make that decision. So it doesn't matter if the rape is brutal or not. It doesn't make it not rape. <clears throat> well, I have raped many women in role play. Oh, I know you're about to be triggered. It's like, oh, he's incriminated. Call the FBI. Call the PD. Call the PD. Call him. And you're going to still need date, time, place, names, activity. See, this is stuff like, you know, people, you're incriminating yourself in this. Really? There ain't nothing in that video that a DEA, DEA can work with. Nothing. But since you dumb fucks don't know the law. Drop your address. You just live on assumptions. You don't operate on facts. But for you guys in the Black Bull series, I got an extra treat. I got a rape story for you. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. And for you dumb fucks who are so curious, you can't get into it unless you have to pay for it. And you, because you're broke, you don't have no money, you can't pay for it. You just can't. You can't. You can't. But this was a new wrinkle because there were certain stages. Of this guy says, I see what you did with the intro, Priceless Glendon. He showed a bunch of children, so a bunch of kids that he probably wants to fuck. Like, wow, so clever. Yeah. Of the Craigslist protocols. And I had entered a mentor advisory role, if you will. And that is when it just took off. This is when I got my best collection of submissives ever because I would get emails from girls who were with dogs. And there's a pimping uh, term, knock. You can knock a bitch. I knocked these girls. I took submissives from Dom's because I was a better Dom. I was a much better Dom. And I had a multitude of women email me about rape fantasies. I'm not going to talk about it here on YouTube because YouTube is Disneyland. If I got into that ism. Why does he still have a channel? Because people don't care, honestly. People just don't care. They're not actually um, doing anything about it. Like, you know, this person obviously deserves, his channel deserves to be reported. Um, but nobody's doing anything about it because people don't really care and that's the unfortunate part when it comes to sexual assault people just don't care um yeah just don't really just don't here on youtube the channel would be gone so i'm gonna do that stuff at my website right do what i want no i have to worry about it i don't have to face your pesky little bitch ass comments I'm not going to talk about it here on YouTube because YouTube is Disneyland. If I got into that ism here on YouTube, the channel would be gone. So yeah, it's probably because it's so legal and you're talking about how you rape people. I'm going to do that stuff at my website. Right, do what I want. No, I have to worry about it. I don't have to face your pesky little bitch ass comments. And let's talk about that. Uh, a lot of you like to leave these little comments. And what I'm seeing consistently is someone will leave a rude or disparaging remark and the avatar will be a cartoon. Let me tell you something about yourself. You are not that good looking, not that successful. Because see, if you thought that you were good looking or cute or attractive, you would have your picture on your avatar, not a cartoon. All you really so need you're to hopeless do is baby. like go into hopeless. here and so what I'm gonna be doing report like this said, user you know, for three stories child endangerment on the black hole diaries and we'll be getting insane. into that. But did you have that conversation with your girlfriend and wife that open and frank conversation you made the mail cup? Did you ask her explicitly about her fantasies? Did you say, hey babe, you know, I want us to be closer. I want us to get to know each other a little better. And I want you to tell me what I don't care how crazy it is. Tell me what are your fantasies. Ask her and give her the permission to tell you, and it's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. I had wives. I remember this one little wife, and I say little because she was like 4'11, about 130 pounds. Some damn Maybe it's because she was a child, huh? Near D titties. Because she was so small, they looked like these, but they were C's. Little fat ass. And she had this little girl like voice. And she's like, It's just so weird. Now he's just describing a potential adult that just, just sounds very childlike. And like, listen, everybody has their preferences, but you see that this guy has a pattern of girls that he's attracted to. <clears throat> My husband just will not spank me. He will not do it. He's like, No, 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 no. What well, I tell you guys, if your woman wants to do something, do it. Because if it's in her heart, she's going to do it with you or someone else. And I remember the first time that I spanked her. I lit into her. Actually, on my other Instagram account, which I will link to this channel, there's a picture of her ass. There's a picture of her ass. Okay. And I would spank her, and she would, I remember. Why? Like, why would you show people pictures of these people's What's asses? Let me see if he actually linked his other Instagram, just so we know about it. He didn't. Of course, he's a fucking coward. But that's, like, another thing. That's a violation of, of individual shit. What's like, you're going to show somebody's, like, nudes and stuff? Like, dude. She would get so excited. I remember one time she was riding me. She ride me for four minutes and she came and then she she just and she just did it. Oh, she was like, she pinched her nipples and she said, shit. Ah, oh, oh, oh. 
There is nothing, in my estimation, more beautiful than seeing a woman come hard. You got a variety of reactions. You got. I just don't understand. Like, I just don't understand this very childlike mentality of like, oh, I, I made a woman come. It's like, congratulations. It's not that difficult. Like, this is really pathetic. The, the singers, you've got the ones whose eyes roll up in their heads. You got the one, and like, she would just, she just bounce. Oh, oh, oh. Four minutes. You gotta fuck a bitch in your mind for an hour to make her come. Let me, let me tell you why you, you think that. See, I used to live with two lesbians when I was in the military. 25D. And Sergeant Carter, she used to get drunk and she used to dispense wisdom. And she's like, Cam, a woman is like an iron. You plug up an iron, the iron ain't ready to be used because it hasn't reached proper operating temperature. And that one thing literally changed my whole sexual life. But see, when you're messing with a woman, when you get her to proper operating temperature, she can come in two, three, four minutes. Let me say that again. When you get a woman to proper operating Who cares, dude? temperature, she can come in two, three, four, five minutes. <sighs> and she will be sleep because she came. I remember this one chick. Man, she was a lot of fun. Blonde, green eyes, nice titties, beautiful toes, beautiful legs, beautiful ass. And I can make her come missionary. I don't even want to finish this. I'm just fucking disgusted by this. You know how I made her come? Shout out to Wesley Pipes. I would talk to her. I would say all kinds of nasty stuff. It's like, how's my bitch got that pussy ready? My bitch giving me that good pussy. My bitch giving me that good pussy. That's it. Throw that pussy, you nasty little filthy little bitch. Why is this still on? I don't understand how this is still like this. Is, this exists. This is disgusting. Throw it, throw it, throw it, my little whore. I remember one time she was throwing it, and she was she was grabbing my ass. And she just boom, boom. She came, and then I kept fucking her, and she was like, because she was super sensitive. And I kept fucking her, then. Oh, on YouTube man, people, they don't care. Um, they don't give a shit, and the people watching honestly don't care either. That's why it's not getting reported. We, we fucked past the, the, the phase where she's super sensitive, fucked past that phase, then got her again, then made her come again, and then made her come again. Made her come three times on my dick before I came. How many of you sad fucks can say, say that? Does your girl even come? Yes. Honestly, do you even know? Do you this is just so dumb. Who cares? First of all, yes, I know how to satisfy a woman. Second of all, it's irrelevant. You're a rapist and a predator. I don't even know. Because you can say all these mean stuff about me, but I want to make a bitch come. And see, when you make a woman come, you bond this woman to you. It's a chemical bond. See, when you make a woman come, she can't fuck anyone else. Unless she's a purebred whore, and we'll talk about that later. But if she's a girl that is bonded to you because you treat her a certain way, and you make her come, like the girl that's the, in my first rape fantasy story, I made her come. I made her come so hard, she cried. She had tears streaking down her face. It's I bet she was crying, Jonathan. I'm sure it's because you made her come. She was like, not because you raped the fuck out of her, like an absolute fucking savage animal piece of shit. That never happens. It's like, what? Well, I normally don't come. She was incredulous that I was able to make her come. But see, here's the thing that you dumb, stupid little fucks don't understand: that when you get into BDSM, BDSM keeps a woman's head in the game. See, a lot of times you're fucking your wife. She's thinking about the kids. She's thinking about laundry. She's thinking about grocery list. And you sitting there like, yeah, baby, I'm giving you the dick, yeah. And she ain't even. She barely wet. And you don't even know this. You selfish fuck. You don't even know this. You have no clue. Literally, I had submissives that I had programmed where I could snap my fingers and they come. Lick their nipple a certain way and they would come. And don't even get me on the squirters. Don't even get me talking about the squirters. But for you guys who are interested, um, the Black Bull Diaries is where I will be talking about stuff I can't talk about on YouTube. Because they're so sensitive here on YouTube. That because you're trying to talk about how you rape people, that's why. When a man does a video talking about he wrote an ad and women answered it, that's predatory behavior. Based upon bitch Anton Daniels. I mean, dude, this guy used to go on Craigslist and pay women and run and rape other young girls. I don't really know what we're supposed to, what advice we're supposed to get here. I haven't even watched it. I haven't even watched it. But I have a feeling when I do watch it, there's going to be some serious consequences. I just hadn't had the time. But, guys, you need to not work on your stroke game. That's not what you need to work on. You need to work on how to get in her head game. I can't fuck like I used to. I'm 55 years old. I cannot fuck like I used to fuck at 25. But because my sex game is so dope, I don't have to. I can make a bitch come in five minutes. And I'm telling you, a lot of you guys ain't making these chicks come. They're just not coming. You got women out here believing that they cannot come through um, penetrative sex. They just like, uh, I don't know how many times I've had chicks looking at me like I was God. I remember this one, brought her in, did all kinds of stuff to her, and then start fucking her. Because see, here's the thing. When you spank a chick and you leave welts and stuff on her ass, she's activated. And then when you get tender with her, it just fucks up her mind. Because see, she's focused on the fucking, she's focused. And she just like, because see, she's focused on what's going on. She comes, she is shocked. She's like, because it sneaks up on them. They're like, whoa, oh, shit. Woo! See, you dumb fucks don't know that because you're idiots. Shout out to the folks who support the Lost Kings and Glendon Cameron. I got some more stuff coming up here. Like, I'm, you know, I got the planes painted. I, I got a few more things to do, but we're getting ready to get into it. So, at the Black Bull Diaries is the third story. I think you're going to enjoy. Wow, that was miserable. So that's all I got for you guys. We'll talk to you later. Oh, my God. Oh, more young girls that he's attracted to. This guy just, it's just too much, though. <clears throat> every fucking day, he just comes out with another video. And every day, we, nobody does anything about it. Nope. 
actually. Like, this guy shouldn't have a channel. It's fucking insane. Should be arrested, but we can't even get that much going on. <laughs> 